As we've been, as we're, we've been going through, we well, are going through very straightened times, I'll do a nice morbid song to kick this off. Um, and it's a very old song, it's probably Victorian, I should think, called The Hard Times of Old England. And, uh, you know, when I go through it, it's, um, it kind of mirrors what, what, what people, people are going through today, you know, with... Um, um, I don't mention fuel bills exactly, but, you know, just, just, just living, really. There's a chorusy bit, which I know you've all got to join in on, um, and it's all oh, the hard times of old England. In old England, very hard times. It's all it's, oh, the hard times of old England. In old England, very hard times. Except for there's four verses, and the last verse, in the, it's jolly good times, because things change subtly. <laughs> Tradesmen that travel along Oh pray come and tell me where the trade is all gone Long time I have travelled and still can find none And it's all the hard times of old England In old England very hard times Provisions you'll see in the shop it is true But if you've no money There's none there for you So what's a poor man and his family to do? And it's all oh, the hard times of old England In old England very hard times Our soldiers and sailors have just come from war Been fighting for queen and for country, tis sure Come home to be starved, better stayed where they were And it's all oh, the hard times of old England In old England, very hard times To conclude and to finish my song Let us hope that these hard times they will not last long I hope soon to have occasion to alter my song Then it's all oh, the good times of old England In old England, jolly good times cheer us up won't it uh, I'll do a little tune now um, has anybody here seen that film Local Hero which is um, a, a beautiful film it's, it's basically about an old curmudgeonly old um, Scottish bloke he lives right in the northern sh shores of Scotland um, near Fort William and uh, an American oil company wants to um, set up a, a what would you call it an oil drilling place, an oil centre uh, there, and he refuses, he, being, being Scottish and curmudgeonly, he refuses to sell his plot of um, um, land and all that. But in that, fi in that film, um, um, the, um, first of all, um, Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits, um, he wrote um, a, a really nice theme tune, but 
But what was inter interested in me as well is in the film they had a Kaylee, a, a folk dance, a barn dance really, and uh, there, was, there was a lovely waltz played called the Mist... Uh, well, as far as I knew, I just call it the local hero waltz, but it's uh, I found since it's called the Mist-Covered Mountains. And, and just a, a, a topical point is... Um, because I know one or two of these Scots tunes, because we've got a, pi a piper in our band, a Scots piper. But um, this, was the, this was the actual um, uh, tune that the, pipe, the Scottish pipe band played when they piped the Queen's Coffin out of Westminster Abbey th this time. This is the one. That's, um, and the, other, the other very quick point about this is that um, I, I, did, I put, did this on a record years ago, many years ago, and... Uh, for the last about 20 years or, or more, it's featured in the uh, Greenwich Man Maritime Museum. They, they've got tableaus. You press a button and you see a... This is all about round, the rounding of Cape Horn and the old Cape Horners. And they, they, for some reason, they chose to use my music. So that's, it's in the background music to that. And I, I, when you hear it, I don't think it, it suits going round the horn. <laughs> They're the only two tunes and songs I know, so I'll just keep repeating them all night. <laughs> I never saw the film, but Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Has anybody seen that one? Yeah, yeah the, the, the slightly younger people might, might have done, but I, but I, um, uh, I, um, I love that sort of music. It had a lot of, um, uh, I don't know, you've got old-timey sort of American mu music in it, and uh, there's this little, um, an old um, semi-gospel type song, Down in the River to Pray, and, and, but it's definitely a joiny in one. <laughs> And um, 
I'm, I might be shouting out in the chorus that goes from brothers, mothers, sisters, fathers. You'll hear as it comes out, hopefully. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that special way, and who can wear the starry crown, good Lord, show me the way. Oh, brothers, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, brothers, let's go down, down in the river to pray. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that special way. And who will wear the robe and crown, good Lord, show me the way, mothers. Oh, mothers, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, mothers, let's go down, down in the river to pray. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that special way, and who will wear the starry crown, good Lord, show me the way, sisters. Oh, sisters, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, sisters, come on down, down in the river to pray. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that special way, and who shall wear the robe and crown, good Lord, show me the way, Father. Oh, fathers, let's go down, let's go down, come on down. Oh, fathers, let's go down, down in the river to play. Studying about that special way And who will wear the starry crown Good Lord, show me the way Sinners, you sinners Oh brother, let's go down now Come on down, don't you want to come down Oh sinners, let's go down Down in the river to pray As I went down in the river to pray Studying about that special way Then who shall wear the robe and crown Good Lord, show me the way Deacons Oh, Deacon, let's go down Let's go down Don't you want to come down? Oh, Deacons, let's go down Down in the river to cry I'll, I'll just do a little, um, I, the, 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 Sue and I met a really nice lady in the, you know, walking our doggy who passes up and down in the s street, an Irish lady, and uh, unfortunately she was supposed to come with her hu husband but she couldn't make it, but, um, so I was, um, I'm glad I didn't dress up as a leprechaun as I met, decided, decided to do, and, but, um, but this, um, these are a couple of um, sweet little Irish tunes called Keen O'Hara and Rip the Calico. Thank you. 
Do you feel like a nice, um, over-sentimental Victorian song of rural pathos? <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing in there, because I've been in the, I've been, I've, I've been sort of in, in the uh, folk world, folk world, or the periphery of it, I suppose, anyway, for, for many years. For most of you were bloody born, but... Um, yeah, you don't know nothing, you lot. You ain't been around long enough. But um, we absolutely, we are in the folk world, we absolutely love dirges, you know. The more, the more miserable, the better, you know. So, so we're coming to a period in our, in our history when, you know, when I, uh, all our stuff is very relevant. But this, this, is a, this song is... Um, oh, I'll get another squeeze box for this. The Farmer's Boy is the uh, sort of a farm worker's anthem, but, that, but it does depend completely on Vanessa joining in, <laughs> and Stephen, Karen, Susan, Jonathan especially. <laughs> a little lad basically in the really uh, in that real hard times a real um, depression recession going around in the countryside looking for work the sun went down behind yon hill across yon dreary moor weary and lame a poor boy came up to a farmer's door Can you tell me If any there be That will give me him and coy For to plough and sow To reap and mow To be a farmer's boy To be a farmer's boy for my father's dead and mother's left with her, f with her five children small. And what is worse for mother still, I'm the oldest of them all. Though little I be, I fear no work if you will me. And so to weep and mow To be a farmer's boy To be a farmer's boy And if that you want me employ One favour I have to ask Will you shelter me till break of day from this cold winter's blast At break of day I'll trudge away Elsewhere to seek employ For to plough and sow To reap and mow To be a farmer's boy To be a farmer's the farmer said, pray take the lad, no further let him seek. Oh yes, dear father, the daughter cried, while the tears ran down her cheek. For those what will, that will work, it's hard to want and wander for employ. For to plough and sow, to reap and mow, to be a farmer's boy, to be a farmer's boy. 
In course of time, he grew a man, and the good old farmer died. He left the lad the farm he had, and his daughter for his bride. So the boy that was, no farmer is, he sits and thinks with joy. Of the lucky, lucky day, he came that way to be a farmer's boy, to be a farmer's boy. I was going to say, um, there aren't any farmers here. It's a bit ironic, really, that harvest, harvest supper. Are there any farmers here? No. They don't, they don't want to come to these sort of things. Is that, is that my span, Sue? Well, there's, there's a song, there's a song I... I, I I mentioned to Matt a bit earlier. Um, I had a, I had a brief sojourn up in Derbyshire at a, a training college. There was another student there. I only lasted a year, by the way. But, uh, <laughs> surprise, surprise! Uh, for some reason, they thought I wasn't teaching material. Wasn't it? <laughs> it was mainly because I've never been able to get up before about twelve. And, uh, <laughs> so, I'd, I'd been at this bloody college for about a year and it suddenly hit me that um, they start about, you know, have to get up about half seven or something, or earlier. But, but anyway, there was a, a, a nice tap, one of the students there, and he told me about this, it's a sort of a Cockney-ish type of song. And um, it's, um, oh, I've got it written down here. Oh, no, I haven't. Um, uh, hold on. It's called Henry, my son, or sometimes that's called Green and Yellow. Nothing to do with the canaries in Norwich, but there's um. Oh, there is a there is a chorusy bit. I'll show you when that, where it comes up because you'll you'll love this, um, and the kid, kiddies would love this song. Oh, well, where have you been all the day, Henry, my son? Where have you been all the day, my current bun? In the woods, dear mother, in the woods, dear mother, mother be quick because I want to be sick and lay me down to die. Ugh. You can do that afterwards. Mother be quick because I'm going to be sick and lay me down to die. What did you do in the woods today, Henry, my boy? What did you do in the woods today, my bundle of joy? Et, dear mother, Eh, dear mother, mother be quick as I want to be sick and lay me down to die. Oh. The old two fingers job, it always, it never fails. But um, <laughs> what did you eat in the woods today, Henry, my son? What was it you ate in the woods today, my current bun? Eels, dear mother. <laughs> Sorry. Eels, dear mother. Mother, be quick, so I want to be sick and lay me down to die. That's your bit. <laughs> and then you, you at least uh, don't do the words, just do the um, vomit bit at the end. <laughs> what colour was their meals you ate in the woods today, Henry, my boy? What colour was their meals you ate in the woods today, my bundle of joy? Green and yellow, green and yellow. Mother be quick because I want to be sick and lay me down and die. <laughs> them was not eels, them was snakes you ate in the woods today, Henry, my son. Them was not eels, them was snakes you ate in the woods, my darling one. <laughs> dear mother, oh, dear mother, mother be quick because I want to be sick and lay me down and die. What colour flowers do you want on your grave, Henry, my son? <laughs> what colour flowers do you want on your grave, my darling one? Green and yellow, green and yellow. Mother, be quick, because I want to be sick and lay me down to die. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well done.
Yeah, this is a, a, a lovely old, it's an English tune. Uh, it's called the, um, the Morris, it's the Morris dancing um, version of, of, a, of, a, of a Scottish tune called The Flowers of Edinburgh. Um, so there's always this controversy, you know, whether a tune started in England or Scotland and all that, you know. The, the Celts always claim that everything, all the English tunes came from there, but... Thank you very much. <laughs> Green and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for sitting through that. <laughs> Well, I don't know. <laughs> trouble is, the trouble is that um, as we are in a, um, with the vicar here, we're in a, church, a place of worship. Um, some of the, some of the old um, folk songs are a bit, a, a little bit. Um, what's the? What, <laughs> Uh, I think the word is what everybody used to know, inappropriate, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'll do a little, I'll, I'll finish, um, as, as the Irish lady and her husband didn't turn up, I, I, was, I was thinking of doing a little, little Irish song. Um, uh, I used to go to a folk club about 50 odd years ago in, in London, is, Islington, and uh, there was, um, you sometimes get this in the folk world, uh, where um, somebody will turn up in a folk club every week, you know, perhaps for years, and just do the one song. They never learn any others. And this, there's a young English chap, although it's an Irish song. He did this lovely song, and it's, it's one that sort of, um, I, I didn't, 
unintentionally become mine in a way because nobody else seems to, to do it, you know, in the world. That's called Kitty the Handsome Cat. <laughs> Kitty, I am in love with you. Kitty, I am a store. Kitty, I am in love with you, whether you like it or no. And me on the top I found Brendan and she in the valley below. I'll take off me shoes and me stockings to follow sweet Kitty, I owe. Kitty, I am in love with you. Kitty, I am in the store. Kitty, I am in love with you. Whether you like it or no. I have a leg for a stocking and I have a foot for a shoe. I have a kiss for the ladies and maybe some other things too. Kitty, I am in love with you. Kitty, I am a store. Kitty, I am in love with you. Whether you like it or not. And I have a pan and a keeler, and I have a churn white as snow. Kitty, my love, will you go with me? Love with your love, will you go? Kitty, I am in love with you. Kitty, I am a store. Kitty, I am in love with you, whether you like it or no. Kitty, I am in love with you. Kitty, I am a store. Kitty, I am in love with you, whether you like it or no. Call that a day. Huh?